Today we're launching our persuasive writing unit. Persuasive writing is a type of opinion writing. And when we write with our opinions, the purpose is to share what we think, feel, or believe about something. When we're doing this, our number one goal is to convince others to see our point of view. Okay, when we can convince others, we can get them on our side. This is a very powerful type of writing. It can come in handy. Here's a few of the reasons you might want to persuade someone. You might want to persuade someone to believe what you believe because it's important to you. You might want to persuade them to take action for something that can make a difference in the world. And you might want to persuade someone in order to change their mind over something that is important to you. Maybe some privilege that you want to be able to have or another issue. Okay. And moving forward with this, our learning target is that we want to be able to write opinion pieces supporting a point of view with reasons. So today, uh, the, next, the second part of this lesson will guide you to learn more about some important topics of interest. Uh, you'll be reading two Scholastic News articles to become informed. It's important to be informed on different topics before you start stating strong opinions. So the two topics that you'll be reading about include one on should people be allowed to swim with the manatees, which you'll find there's some strong opinions about. And the other topic is, um, are video games good for you? You may already have an opinion on some of these topics, but your job today is to read about each one, find out what other people think and why, so that you can become informed before you make your decision. Then you will choose one of the topics that you're gonna move forward with, with um, for your writing. So choose a topic that you feel passionate about, either the manatee issue or the video games to move forward with. The lesson will guide you through the next step of deciding what is your point of view. You need to figure out your opinion so that you can state it strongly, okay? Tomorrow, we're gonna be able to go in depth with the planning, but today the lesson will guide you through a quick four square planning tool that'll just help you capture some of your immediate thoughts and ideas onto paper. So follow those steps and we will get started with the actual developing of our ideas tomorrow. Have fun.